So I'm muting everybody just for the time being. At any point, you can come unmuted if you have a question, especially during this first part where I'm just explaining a little bit. So, so we're doing the full moon practice today. Um, this week is kind of particularly oriented towards towards what Brie so delightfully called mind stuff yesterday, which I love because it kind of makes it a little more silly, but it's but we know it's serious uh, because we all live with this mind stuff. So thoughts, emotions, uh, you know, even going into beliefs perhaps, but but mainly will be what we can notice in a moment is is thoughts or emotions. So our orientation is that way, but the full moon practice is a breath practice primarily. We're working with our breath in different ways. So how do these two come together? Well, breath, uh, as I think most of you know, because you've you've done a little bit of exploration, as soon as you start trying to pay attention to your breath, uh, you start thinking about other things too, <laughs> because breath is uh, sometimes not that engaging and sometimes it's very engaging. Uh, but breath has a funny way of of getting us off to all sorts of different uh, places of our mind. And so actually, it can be a very fruitful opportunity to work with this mind stuff, which is exactly what we'll do tonight. So essentially, the way that this practice works, and it comes from an old Thai tradition, and it's a delight to be able to kind of keep it alive together, Um not that we're the only ones doing it, but it's fun to be able to participate in it. And basically, we start with the longest comfortable breath. And the key word is comfortable for all of these kinds of breath. Uh, this took me a while to learn. And I kept saying, OK, the longest possible breath. I, I heard the longest comfortable breath, but internally I said, great, the longest possible breath. Uh, and that's definitely not what we want to do. We want to do the longest comfortable breath. Uh, so at all points, making sure that the breath is comfortable. Uh, the first one is the longest comfortable breath. And during that time, at first, I'll say, you know, we'll start with the longest comfortable breath. And you can count one through nine over the course of this breath. So you're counting up to nine as you're inhaling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight, seven, six. And you're counting down for the exhale. And I'll repeat all this as we're actually doing it. I just wanted to give you a little bit of, here's what's coming. Then we'll go to a little bit shorter, but still pretty long breath. And we'll go a little bit shorter than that to where it's a little bit shorter than you're normally breathing. And then we'll go to the shortest comfortable breath. Again, that important word, comfortable, not the shortest possible breath, shortest comfortable breath. And then we'll start playing around with attending to the breath in different ways. Uh, and sometimes we'll we'll stop counting altogether or we'll just pay attention to one place. And at that point, I'll, I'll hopefully be a good host or a good guide as we move through these different ways of attending to the breath. What I ask and, and plan to remind us all, myself included, to do over the course of us practicing is just to... Notice how our mind activity is changing. And notice our internal voice, or if we often see kind of pictures when we close our eyes, notice what's happening with those. So we'll just notice how that's changing over the course of the practice. And before we start, I also want to let everybody know I've gotten mixed feedback on the kind of uh, bells, the intermediate bells. But I do want to know if anybody has a, a certain time that they need to leave by, such as the top of the hour. Does anybody need to head out by the top of the hour? No? Okay. Okay. Great. So as long as that's the case, if you do, you can also message me privately uh, and we can figure something out. Karen. What's the relationship of this breath practice to the moon? Mm. There's different ways that we could like hypothesize about why this is the practice that was traditionally done with the moon.
but actually it has a lot to do with this mind stuff. And I think the idea is that as we go through all of these different ways of paying attention to the breath, we notice something really interesting, which is that our attention our, itself, our, our mind, our way of looking at the world is changing. And so it's kind of taking you over this full course of what's happening, just like the cycle of the moon, going from very like bright and intense and active to very quiet and subtle and, and maybe dark, uh, and then back to kind of this full bright picture. So I think it's this kind of cyclical nature of the way that we're paying attention to the breath. Thank you. Yeah. And so to follow up on that, is that why we start long and work short? Because we're starting, quote, at the brightest or the longest or the biggest point? Because that yeah, that's a really good question, too. You know, I never even thought about it that way, Michelle, but that's actually a nice way to think about it. This practice comes from a tradition that always starts with the longest breath. And I think part of the reason is that sometimes if we go to the shortest breath right away, it can feel kind of threatening or like we're kind of starved for air. Uh, but when we've taken a lot of deep breaths first, our body can feel a little more comfortable saying, oh, I'm actually okay. I don't need as much oxygen as I normally do or, or as much as I thought. Great, thanks. Yeah. Anything else before we start? Let's begin then. So, finding a comfortable seat, noticing the way that you're sitting, however that is. You might feel called to let your eyes come to rest as you notice what's happening with your body. You just imagine the outline of your body. From your head, outlining your whole face and your shoulders, and arms, and your whole torso back and front. Your hips and lower body. As you do that, you might notice right from the start, there's certain places that already stick out to your attention. You can let yourself notice them. Maybe some of them are even able to just be relaxed and settle a little bit. Maybe they're more tense than they need to be. might orient us to particularly look at our hips and lower belly. See if we could just let those settle towards the ground, towards our seat, the chair. Same thing with our shoulders and upper back. Seeing if we can't just let them fall down a little bit with gravity. Noticing the face, your face. And seeing if you can soften a little bit. And seeing what it would feel like to just let a very gentle, very subtle smile 
maybe not even visible from the outside. Let a subtle smile start to emerge from the inside. Having noticed all these things. Check in with what's happening to your breath right now. You might also notice what's happening with your mind right now. It might come in any variety of ways, relaxed, happy, excited, relieved, also anxious, stressed, gripped, worried, frustrated. I'd even think some of those ways are better ways than others to come in. But we can even let those judgments just stay at the door. Check those judgments at the door. And just work with what we've got. This is my mind right now. This is my breath right now. We'll begin with the longest comfortable breath. Remember that keyword comfortable. So taking a long breath and counting one all the way up to nine as you inhale at whatever pace feels good for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and exhaling. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You could go slower than that. You could go faster than that. The count is entirely your own. Just counting that way with the longest comfortable breath. And as you count one through nine and nine through one, notice that different thoughts will almost try to pick you off on your way up to nine or back down to one. You might feel an urge to grit our teeth and resist such thoughts, we can just even more gently and pleasantly continue to count. Letting that smile come through on each number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Now we'll shorten the breath a little bit, keeping more or less the same cadence, but now only going to six. So still a longer breath. Not the longest breath that's comfortable, but a pretty long breath. Counting in one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Just that way, no rush. Just noticing what's happening to my mind. Might even start to notice what types of thoughts am I having? Not analyzing them so much, just noticing if they belong to a kind of a category. Uh, work thoughts, meditation thoughts, hmm. relationship thoughts. And seeing if they have an impact on your breath or how you're feeling. So as you continue, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two. Noticing you may have many interesting thoughts and probably very few urgent thoughts. They can wait till after meditation. Just a few more minutes. Shortening the breath now to just count one, two, three, three, two, one. Could be slower. Could be faster. This breath might be a little bit shorter than how you'd normally breathe. It's still comfortable. Was this breath pattern changing my mind? One, two, three, three, two, one.
seeing if you can let the mind be more and more slippery to these incoming thoughts. Not that they don't come, but they're not quite as sticky. And we'll shorten one last time to the shortest comfortable breath. And if you have any questions about whether it might be too short, just go a little bit longer. Make sure it's comfortable. Counting in one, counting out one. One, one, one. Don't mind too much about thoughts that still want to wrestle with you. There will be plenty of those. One. One. Noticing boredom, restlessness creep in. Various different anxieties about what's next. And soften as much as you can into this short process. Now see if you can drop those numbers. No ones. Just following the inhale into the nose maybe towards the back of the throat, and back from the back of the throat, out of the nose, following the air, a little bit in, and a little bit out, just with the same short length of breath, feeling the cooling sensations of the air, and the warming sensations of the air, coming in, going out, coming in, Going out. I notice the number sticking. That happens sometimes. Just treat them as any other thought. Not so worried about it. Softening the jaw, letting that smile reemerge.
moving to just notice this short breath at one place, the very tip of the nose. Doesn't matter where exactly you notice it. Just somewhere right around the tip of the nose and making that one place a home. I notice that somehow, magically, you have a sense of when you're inhaling and exhaling without even trying to. Something is almost lighting up in your mind when inhales happen, when exhales happen. What is that? Now letting go of any attempt to pay attention to the breath in some special way. Just continuing with that short breath, paying attention to the space right in front of you between your, behind your closed eyes. So with eyes closed, just looking straight ahead as you continue with this short breath. What about now? What kinds of thoughts? What's the quality of these thoughts? lengthening that breath just a little bit longer. A little bit closer to normal length. Still just paying attention to the space in front of you with your eyes closed. lengthening the breath again so that you're taking your breath that's a little bit longer than you would normally breathe. Like that six count breath, but we're not counting this time. Just breathing and paying attention to the space behind our eyelids.
What's happening with your mind? What kinds of thoughts? What do they feel like? And lengthening one more time to the longest comfortable breath. And as you breathe this longest comfortable breath in and out, just noticing the space behind your eyes. Feeling invigorated, feeling your body come more to life with this bigger breath. And with this longest comfortable breath, returning now to that one point at the tip of your nose, and watching the air pass over this one place as you breathe in and out your longest comfortable breath. Just this one place at the tip of the nose. And returning now, following this longest comfortable breath, from the tip of your nose all the way down to the bottom of your belly, and back out from the bottom of your belly out of the tip of your nose. Following the longest comfortable breath, flow through your body just a few times. Noticing what's happening to the mind as you do this. And finally, just as we did at the start, counting one through nine for this longest of breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And as you feel ready, and return to your ordinary breath, just take a couple of seconds to reflect on the quality of your mind as you went around in this circle.
I'll read the poem that I mentioned was an inspiration for our practice today. The body is the wisdom tree. The mind is a bright mirror. Take care to wipe it clean each opportunity, letting no dust cling. As you feel ready, you can begin to return from the practice, maybe with some small movements and deeper breaths, moving your face around and your body around. And when you feel like it's a good time, you can let your eyes flutter open as well. So as I end the recording, you can just reflect briefly on what happened to our minds over the course of that little journey. And uh, all occurrences are welcome. You know, sometimes when I do a longer practice like that, I can feel a sense of urgency to be done or eagerness to be done or boredom. And sometimes I feel like things are really nice. And it's a nice and gentle journey, and that happens too. So if you're doing this on your own, feel free to journal about it. And us here live, I'm excited to hear about some reflections. <laughs>